sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. You could easily make the case it was the most talked about film of the past year, but now the prestigious folks at the Academy of Motion Pictures has validated Get Out as one of the best films of 2017. And that honor is just one of many historic highlights this social horror thriller has accomplished this award season. First, the most obvious accolades go to Jordan Peele, who received a Best Director nod for his directorial debut. He's only the fifth black director to ever be nominated, and no black person has ever won the award. But he did more than that. Even, even more dialed into Chris. Peele is only the third director in Oscars history to be nominated for Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Original Screenplay in his directorial debut. He joins the short list with James L. Brooks and Warren Beatty. Moonlight. Yep. Best that picture. Warren Beatty. Also, horror films aren't exactly known for sweeping award season. What did Miggs say to you? The Silence of the Lambs is the only horror film to ever win the Oscar for Best Picture, doing so in 1992. The iconic 1970s horror flick The Exorcist is the only other true horror film to be nominated for Best Picture, putting Get Out on a very short list of nominees from the genre. Finally, we can't forget how much of a booming box office success Get Out was. It's coming back round. It's coming back round! Out of the Best Picture nominees, it's the second highest grossing film behind Dunkirk. But it was far and away the most profitable film in the category, making more than 50 times its production budget and ticket sales. Peel is also the first African American writer and director to earn $100 million at the box office in his debut film. Now, nominations are great, but wins are always better. You can tune in to ABC March 4th to find out if Get Out will make it out with any golden statues. <laughs>